Hello guys, welcome to DOT part 192, steel pipe design. Uh, we're really just going to go through um, <clears throat> the steel pipe design formula found in DOT 192 really quick. So, we're going to write the formula. P equals 2 times S, which is yield strength. T, which is wall thickness all over capital D which is outer diameter of the pipe so this formula is actually for the SMYS or yield strength pressure I think SMYS stands for specified <coughs> manufacturer's yield strength so I'll go through run through these really quick S the yield strength <clears throat> that's typically denoted in the industry as X and then a number. So X60 would be 60,000 PSI. X65 would be 65,000 PSI. <clears throat> and so on. You can actually get custom custom yield strengths made. They don't have to be in multiples of 10 or 5. And they actually derate the... So an X60 pipe the real yield strength will probably be something like 62, 300, some more accurate number, and they'll just call it X60 pipe just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> so lowercase t, wall thickness, that is standardized in the industry. Uh, to get that, you just go to a, they call them pipe charts, and they'll have corresponding outer diameters and sizes of pipe with, with wall thickness. Um, a lot of people use shorthand, they'll call it STD for standard wall thickness pipe, or SCH80 for schedule 80, or SCH40 schedule 40. It's typically better to use the actual a uh, thousandth of an inch notation, so 375 inches rather than standard or 0 0.500 inches. That way they know exactly what you're talking about. Some people get confused with standard and schedule 40 and sometimes they're they're different for different pipes, so it's better just to specify that. So that takes your wall thickness go up, go up here to capital D which is outer diameter of the pipe, which is not necessarily the same thing as pipe size, so 12 inch and below, I believe, and maybe 14 inch. So if you say you want 12 inch pipe, it's not, the outer diameter is not 12 inches. I think it might be 12.75. Um, I know for like 3 inch pipe, if you say you want 3 inch pipe, the OD is actually 3.5 inches. So you have to be careful of that when you're plugging into the formula. All this stuff is in the pipe charts uh, too, so... So this formula, that, that gives you the yield strength pressure to get the... what they call MAOP, Maximum Allowable Operating Pressure. Operating pressure. We need three different uh, safety factors. So one is F, E, and T. <clears throat> F they just call a design factor, which is based on where the pipeline is located. There's it only varies by 4, so 0 0.72 is class 1, 0 0.6 is class 2, 0 0.5 is class 3, 0 0.4 is class 4. I'll probably have to make an entire separate video on design factors. Um, it gets a little more detailed, but just for now we'll, we'll keep those and we'll do an example a little bit later using them. Um, so that's the first one. The second one, E, is the longitudinal joint factor 
which is I'd say 90% of the time is just one. We don't even use it, but it's important to remember when you're running out calculations for older pipelines. Um, older pipelines, some of them are made from cast iron, and that's that's when you have to worry about that longitudinal joint factor. For new pipe, it, it's pretty much always going to be one. So the last one, T, is the temperature derating factor. This one is most of the time also going to be one. Uh, if you look in DOT 192, it gives you ranges, but as long as you're under 250 degrees Fahrenheit, it's always going to be one. It's got different ranges. I think 250 to 300 is 0 0.967. It, it's got different intervals, and you can use linear interp interpolation to get intermediate values between those. So. Again, we'll probably have to make a separate video about that. It gets more involved um, than that. But those, those are your three different design factors. So we're going to go here and do an example really quick. Um, so let's say we want to find the MAOP and the yield pressure of a 16-inch pipe, standard wall, X60, and we'll say it's in class 3 location. These papers here. <clears throat> so let's find the yield pressure first. That's going to be 2 times <clears throat> the X60, which is 60,000 psi, times the wall thickness, standard wall thickness for 16 inch pipe is 0 0.375 inches. And all that over, in this case, the size and outer diameter are the same, so just over 16. That's going to give us. I had it written down here. 2 8. 12.5 psi, which we're just going to round to 2812. <clears throat> so to get our, that's that's one part. So to get our MAOP, maximum allowable operating pressure, we're going to take that, multiply by our three different uh, safety factors. So F since it's class 3 is 0 0.5. E, it's a newer pipe, but it's, they're calling it X60, so we really don't have to worry about it. We're going to leave it as 1. Uh, same thing with T. We weren't given a temperature, but most of the time, unless you're dealing with process pipe, it's it's pretty safe to assume that it's just going to be 1. So we're basically just dividing by 5, this 2812, which gives us 1406 PSI rounded. Um, so that is, for this 16 inch pipeline, that is the maximum allowable operating pressure that DOT uh, wants you to operate at. <clears throat> and and that, that makes sense because that's just below 1480 PSI, which is ANSI 600 maximum rating for flanges and components and valves. <clears throat> that's also probably going to be another video. Um, but anyway, that, that's how you find the yield strength and operating maximum operating pressure from DOT-192. I do want to do some more videos, probably going over ANSI class flange ratings and maybe even hydro testing, and then going through some of those design factors a little bit more. This is just a quick video just to cover cover the basic uh, DOT-192 design pressure. Uh, I think that's it guys. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Hopefully I'll have some other videos out here soon going over some other uh, pipeline stuff. Thanks.